Hi, I'm Maxon sales engineer Joe Martino. In this video, I'll be giving you an overview of the differences between a Maxon DC brushed and Maxon DC brushless motor. The key difference between brushed and brushless motors is service life. The service life of a brushed motor is shorter and limited by the wear of the brushes, while a brushless motor is far more gradual in wear and is only limited by the life of the ball bearings. For many applications, the service life of a brushed motor is not a concern because it's offset by lower cost. Another consideration is speed. Typically, the max speed of a brush motor is in the range of 20,000 RPM, but the mechanical wear sharply increases and decreases service life in this case. In practice, brush motors tend to run below 10,000 RPM. A brushless motor of similar size and magnetic design can be operated at much higher speeds, reaching tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of RPM in some cases. These are perfect for applications such as grinders, cutters, blowers, where speed is critical. But these are generalizations. You'll have to look at the Maxon catalog to understand the speed and torque capabilities of each individual motor on a case-by-case -case basis. Ambient conditions are another important factor in service life. If electromagnetic interference is a concern, brush motors may not be suitable due to the phenomenon known as arcing. Brushes made of graphite need humidity and oxygen in the atmosphere to work properly and produce dust that might pollute clean rooms, high vacuums, or optical devices. For these reasons, most motors in special ambient conditions are brushless. There's no physical brush residue, no spark-related emissions. They can be sterilized, operated in ultra-high vacuum applications, be exposed to very high heat, and even operate in space. Brushless motors can also survive a very high level of vibration and temperature, for example, in downhole drilling and aerospace applications. There is no motor as simple to operate as a brush DC motor. Just apply voltage and it spins. A brushless motor requires an electronic controller and additional cabling, adding complexity and cost, but this advantage is then gated in applications needing higher levels of control, where both brush and brushless motors alike require controllers for motor speed, shaft position, and torque control. So whether you're considering a brushed or a brushless motor, there are a variety of factors to consider in terms of service life, complexity, ambient conditions, and cost. For more information about Maxon Motors, visit our website, view our other videos, or request a detailed catalog. Thanks for watching.